Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Adventure Quest Worlds Fresh Start series. My name is Frosty Mate, and today I'm going to be commentating over the 47th episode. And today, ladies and gents, I will be getting Sepulchre's Doom Knight Armor or Seppi's Doom Knight Armor, whichever one you want to call it. I know that I've been calling it Seppi's throughout the throughout the series, but I believe it's pronounced Sepulchre. I don't know though. That's just my take on it. But anyway, yes, I've been farming this for a month I think a bit over a month now so it's taken me a fair while I know some people can get this in a very short amount of time but I struggled to, to sort of begin with um, didn't have the motivation like I did for the blinding light of destiny just I think because I've never done it before I've never actually found for the Sepulchre's Doom Knight armor and I think when I'm especially with Nolgarth farming when I have to do new things or just farming in general when I'm not used to something it just takes me a lot longer to get used to it and to get motivated but as soon as I sort of got my first sort of I don't know few corrupt spirit orbs and all that sort of thing I started to feel more motivated and that's when the serious progress started but yes it did take me about one month to farm and it's not impressive at all but you know I'm just glad that I've managed to get it because I've never actually had the Sepulchre's Doom Light Armour and it is probably it's up there, it's definitely up there in one of my favourite armours, it looks so nice. I just think every single Doom Knight armour is really nice, even, you know, the Legion one, where I think some of the body parts are missing on the Legion one, but I still really like it. Um, also, the new colour custom one that you can get from the new uh, Doom Knight t-shirt, that looks really nice as well. I might actually have to uh, get that t-shirt t-shirt just so I, could, uh, so I can get the colour custom item, but who knows. But in this video, as I just said, I'm going to be getting the Sepulchre's Doom Knight Armour, but I'm just showing you some other materials and things that I had to get in order to get the Doom Knight Armour. And um, towards the end of the video, in just a few moments, I will show you all the items that I had to get, all the items that I got overall, all that sort of thing. But um, this little clip here, I was going to Dwarf Hold just to go ahead and get an upgraded metal piece. And I believe it was to get either the broadsword or the bow I think it was the broadsword because I already had the mace so yeah I think this must be the chromium or something like that that must be to get the broadsword and as you can see here just turning it in um, it's a shame it doesn't tell you which one it is used for but there we go so I needed five corrupt spirit orbs two ominous auras and the chromium and I don't know why it took me such a long time to turn it in I guess I was maybe on my phone or something like that but it doesn't matter we turn it in anyway and then we move on into the next clip where I show you right towards the end of me getting this Seppi's Doom Knight armor, all the things that I managed to get, all the rewards that it gave me, etc, etc. So just going into that now then, I don't know what's going on here, why it took me so long to react. <laughs> um, but yeah, here are all of the items there. As you can see, I've got far too many Dark Spirit Orbs, far too many Diabolical Auras, um, using the Broadsword, the Necrotic Broadsword of Bane, the Mace of Misery and the Bow of Shadow. They are the three items that I used in order to get Sepulchre's Doom Knight Armour. And showing you them now then, the Broadsword gave me one Diabolical Aura, which I believe is worth 25 Ominous Auras. So you can see there that getting a Diabolical Aura without the Bow is going to be pretty damn difficult. Um, so that was that one. Then on to the, uh, I believe the mace, yep, so the mace gave me three ominous auras and 100 dark spirit orbs. Now the ominous auras, you needed um, some corrupt spirit orbs, 50 in fact, and it's always nice to get the 100 dark spirit orbs as well because as you can see that that's how many I had to farm with just over 2600 there. And I was basically farming all of them to try and get this Doom Aura. And finally, the Necrotic Bow, which gave me 25 dark, uh, sorry, Corrupt Spirit Orbs and 50 Dark. And the reason I went for the Bow was because not only does it look really cool, but also those Corrupt Spirit Orbs really came in handy. Because to get the actual um, Sepulchre's Doom Knight Armour, you need to get 250 Corrupt Spirit Orbs. And getting 25 per turn in, you know, it doesn't take no time at all. It actually really helped getting 250, which is... Um, one of the maximum amounts you needed to get except from the Dark Spirit Orbs at 500. But all I needed to do now was go and get the Heart of Darkness and to get that all you have to do is go to Ruins and kill the Dark Elemental at the end of the map. And I had to Google that because I wasn't sure and I also had to Google how to get the um, 
the other thing. I can't remember what it's called now, so we're just going to awkwardly move on. Um, but I decided to use the Void High Log because I haven't used it in a little while. And because really I've just been in uh, Join Nulgarth and just using my Royal Vampire Lord. Dude, I really like the Royal Vampire Lord. I'm glad that I stuck at it and carried on farming. Um, Voltkin was there to help me out with that a lot through the beginning, actually. Um, but there we are, guys. About to turn it in. You actually get a fair amount of reputation and gold and XP, which is quite cool. But I guess when you're this sort of level, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. I've already got uh, rank 10 Doomwood anyway, due to the Blinding Light of Destiny. And there we are, guys. Finally, I've managed to acquire this beautiful looking armor and um, I just want to go check to see if the badge was there because I've never had it before and I think it's like a really nice looking badge and I'm super happy that I finally have gotten this armor after a month of farming. Uh, I think it's definitely worth it. I just I wish I had some more items to match a sort of look with it because the set that I tried to make, it doesn't look very good and I had to use some sort of Christmassy had to finish off what I was going for and you'll see that in just a second but you can see that I have so many materials still left over so they're just going to get put in my bank but there it is guys that is a sexy looking armor and it looks quite nice with the blood collector scarf I have to admit the ranger hat as well but getting the color combination is pretty difficult and the vampiric eternal flame also looks really nice but this is the set that I have at the moment I managed to find this battle claws helm in my bank and it's luckily it's color custom and I think it looks really nice it really suits the armor but to be fair it's the only helmet that I do have at the moment that does suit it but you might be wondering now since I've got the Seppi's Doom Knight armor what am I going to do next on the bucket list now I haven't seen the bucket list in a very long time I actually lost the file but it doesn't matter because luckily I had a JPEG file of it so I've just gone over it and put the Sepulchre's Doom Knight armor in green so the whole right side now ladies and gentlemen is fully fully green and if we have a look now we've got the arch paladin the void paladin that's quite i didn't realize that was paladin and paladin um legion tokens maybe i'll do some legion token farming because of dages birthday coming up soon the void spartan um obviously completing the storyline that's going to take a little longer and i do that during my other events anyway but um i know you guys want me to farm the the uh, what's it called the necrotic sword of doom but I might leave that for a later date because I just keep doing farming after farming, you know, like big farms. I need to do smaller farms, so like Legion tokens or something like that for Deja's birthday. So I might go and do some Legion token farming, but let me know in the comments section below on what you would want me to farm next or tick off the bucket list. But that's going to be it for me, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this one. My name is Frosty Mate. Thank you ever so much for watching. We're almost at 3,000 subscribers now, ladies and gentlemen, which is a huge achievement. So thank you to each and every single one of you who have subscribed in the past six or so months. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.